How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over how to calculate molality, PPM, and PPB. And that's parts per million and parts per billion. So first off, let's just define these things really quick. Molality is the number of moles of sol solute per kg of solvent. And the formula is right underneath there. And then PPM is parts per million. That is the ratio of mass of solute to mass of solution times 10 to the 6th. And then parts per billion is the same, but times 10 to the 9th. So we'll just shift these over here and then we'll jump in to our first problem. All right, here we go. All right, so we have nine grams of sucrose, 1.5 grams of NaCl, and 84 grams of water. Those were mixed into a homemade sports drink. Now A, what is the molality of the sucrose in the solution? And B, how many ppm of NaCl does the solution contain? So the best way here is kind of just start in with what we have. So we have that molality formula up here. Let's see if that will help. So molality equals N of solute divided by kg of solvent. So in order to get our uh, N of solute, we'll go with the 9.0 grams of sucrose. And um, let me just shift that down a little bit. 9.0 grams of sucrose and then we will multiply that by one mole over the molar mass, which is 342.3 grams. And from that, we will get 0 0.0263 moles of sucrose. So we have the top. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the 84.0 grams of water. And instead of converting water to how many moles we have, uh, we're going to convert it from grams into kilograms so we can put it on the bottom here. So I know we're looking for kg, we want one kg, and one kilogram has a thousand grams. So essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to divide that by a thousand in order to get our number here. So what we have is 0 0.084 kilograms of water. So now what we can do is we can um, keep moving with this uh, part A, the shift it a little down. Okay, we have molarity is going to equal our 0 0.0.0263 and that's going to be over mole and then over 0. 0.084 kg. So I'll do that out. Okay. And 0 0.313. And the units, I guess, are just, it's like a small m, so molality, it's molar, I think. Um, but there's no, like, you're not going to do moles per kilogram necessarily. Um, and yeah, that's the way that those go. So now for part B of this problem, we'll continue on. It's asking um, how many ppm of NaCl does the solution contain? And it's pretty straightforward um, calculating these ppm of NaCl is going to equal the mass of NaCl in grams. And that's going to be divided by the mass of solution times 10 to the sixth. So let's just kind of plug in what we have here. Now to calculate our, M, our mass of the solution, we're going to have our 1.5 grams plus our 9 grams plus 84 grams of water. Okay, we have 94.5 grams. And that's our total. So now what we can do is we can just um, do 
plug it right back into this. So we're going to have uh, 1.5 grams divided by that, which is 94.5 grams times 10 to the sixth is going to be our PPM. All right. So I'm getting 0.015873, and then we're going to move that, and we're going to get 15873.0. And then, yeah, by putting it 10, 10 to the sixth. So that's just what our answer is going to be. And PPM and PPB, um, they're both not necessarily, you don't have like a specific type of unit you use for that. It's just because it's, it's like more of a mathematical thing than it is anything else, um, rather than like grams or, you know, you wouldn't as easily compare it for like reaction things. Um, now we're just going to move on to the next problem. I'll put, put it up a little bit higher. All right. So we have a zero calorie version of the homemade sports drink is made with 1.5 grams of sucralose. So sucralose is like Splenda, it's that the, uh, the zero calorie sweetener. Um, and it's kind of like man-made. Uh, as you can see, there's some chlorine there um, that's added in, I think, in, as part of the process. And we have 50 mg of NaCl and 473 grams of water, which by the way, just for, <laughs> for reference, the first problem had, that was like essentially one third of one one third of a cup of that previous drink would have seventy five percent of your daily value of sodium. So that that wasn't even like really a sports drink. This one I think actually works out to be a possible uh, a, you know an actual sports drink that someone could have. Um, we're gonna start with our formula like always, n of solute over kg of solvent. And then we're gonna go with our 15 grams of sucralose. I'm gonna scoot that down. 15 grams of sucralose times, we're gonna get that into moles by dividing it by its molar mass, which is 397.64 grams. And from that, we're gonna get 0.0377 moles of sucralose. So then from there, we do the same thing that we did before. Um, we have our 473 grams of water, which is uh, roughly two cups of water. That's why I uh, made it like an actual sports drink. Um, that's gonna be of H2O times one kilogram, we're gonna get it into kilograms um, over 1,000 grams. And that is just dividing this by 1,000, so we're gonna have 0 0.473 kilograms of H2O. So there we go. Now we have a, a way to figure out that part A. So we have, I'll do it up here actually. Our molality is going to equal 0 0.0377 mole, which we got right there. And then we're going to divide that by our point, what is that? 0 0.473 kg. Oops. And what do we get? We'll say that's about 0 0.08. And that'll be our answer for part A there. And then we'll go down for part B. What do we have here? How many PPB of any sale does this beverage contain? Um, let's see here. Scoot that. Um, we have PPB, parts per billion of NACL is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.05, um, because we have the 50 milligrams, we're putting that into grams. 
grams of NaCl. And that's all going to be divided by, let's see here. Well, we're going to want our total for the solution. So we have um, 15 plus 473. And then we have, so that's going to be 488.05. Uh, grams of solution. Okay, so we are getting a very small number initially, but that's all, I uh, can't forget, that's gonna be times 10 to the ninth. So we're getting 0 0 0 and then we move it over. Nine. We're just going to get 102449 as our final answer. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much that simple. Um, the PPM and PPB are not, I think, super common to see on like standardized tests from, from what I can tell. But um, I think it's just good to know. And it doesn't take much effort to, to learn it and figure it out. So yeah, hopefully this helps someone.